As Christians, we are obliged to forgive anyone who offends us. It does not matter what the person has done to us. Truly, it is always hard to forgive, but we have to forgive. There are negative effects of not forgiving people. This is not what you should want in your life. The fact is that it will affect you and it will affect the person you refuse to forgive. The Negative Effect of an Unforgiving Spirit in You Matthew 6 verse 14 For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Ephesians 4 verse 32 And be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. Why hold grudges when God has forgiven you for all the sins that can result in death? At the beginning of time, Adam and Eve fell because of their disobedience. Through them, men became sinners. Romans 5 verse 12 Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. The wages of sin is death, so all human beings are destined to face death. This is not the physical death, but the second death. God became merciful and sent his Son Jesus Christ to die for everyone. He forgave our sins and remembered them no more. Hebrews 8 verse 12 For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness, and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. The reason why God did this is because of love. God sent his Son and forgave us because he loves us. You call yourself a Christian. Let me ask you, do you have the love of God inside you? Do you know how to forgive? God himself said, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. Romans 9 verse 15. This means that there are selected people that God will have mercy on and forgive. It is the truth. God himself said it. Who are the people that God will forgive and who are those that he will not show his mercy to and forgive? Matthew 6 verse 14 and 15 For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. This verse makes it clear to us that God knows who we will and will not forgive. If you forgive those who have wronged you, those who hurt you, God will forgive you also. However, anyone who doesn't forgive, God will not forgive those people in return. It is the plain truth that was written in the Bible, spoken by Jesus himself. Forgiveness is an important thing. The reason why God cherishes those who forgive is that they have the spirit of love in them. Having the spirit of love means having the spirit of God, because God is love. 1 John 4 verse 8 He that loveth not knoweth no God, for God is love. Luke 17 verse 3 and 4 Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn against thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. Here, Jesus teaches us 
how to forgive or what to do to those who have wronged us. He said we should rebuke them. Normally rebuke means to show disapproval of someone's behavior which is the normal reaction of a man when he sees someone do something he doesn't like. Now, the reason why Jesus uses the word rebuke here is to make it clear to us as Christians that we should let people know when they have wronged us. Someone may wrong you and not realize it. We have to let them know that is the purpose of rebuking. And after rebuking them, two things can happen. Either the person repents and apologizes, or the person refuses to. The Bible says if the person repents, it is up to us to forgive. We must forgive. If the person doesn't repent or apologize, it is best to forgive too. Why? Because not forgiving, according to psychology, it yields to a build-up of stress. It causes sleeplessness, it causes anxiety and bitterness. If these things come through an unforgiving spirit, it causes sin. That is why it was advised that we forgive not seven times, but seventy times seven. Forgiveness is the nature of God. It is His image. We were made in His image. Forgiving people makes us become like God. If the forgiveness of God is unlimited, you can be sure that God wants ours to be unlimited too. We can't, for the sake of what they have done to us, refuse to forgive. We cannot hold grudges and still be okay with God. We cannot claim to love God and not forgive our brethren. Lastly, an unforgiving spirit breeds hatred in the heart. When hatred comes in, all sorts of evil will encroach into the heart. When this happens, the love of the Father, God, is not in you. For us to stop the unforgiving spirit in us, we need to know the cost. We need to know the negative consequences if we do not stop it. What is the negative impact of the unforgiving spirit? Number one, God will not forgive you. Matthew 6 verse 14 and 15 For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. I won't lie to you. If you don't forgive others, if you don't let go of people who have wronged you, there is no way God will forgive you. God said He will have mercy on whom He will have mercy on. Are you one of the people to whom God will show mercy? It is not to everyone that God will show mercy. I am not saying that God will not show mercy to everyone. What I am saying though is that there are some things that you must do to merit the mercy of God. What will be your gain if God doesn't have mercy on you? God loves you. He wants to show you mercy, but you must do the right thing to merit it. God will indeed forgive everyone that asks for it. He is God. He forgives. But if He can forgive, and you are asking Him to forgive you, but you refuse to forgive another person, do you think that you will be forgiven? Jesus gave a parable about this. A servant was owing to the king. He begged that he is forgiven. The king listened and forgave him of all his debts. This same servant went to another fellow servant that was owing to him. This servant begged to be forgiven, but he refused and locked him up. This is something that we should all consider ourselves. If you were the king, what would you do when you heard this? That is an evil act. That is why God will never forgive people who do not forgive. The king heard about what this servant had done. Matthew 18 verse 34 and 35 
and his Lord was wroth, and delivered him to the tormentors, till he should pay all that was due unto him. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not every one of his brother their trespasses. There is no way you will behave like this and you will be forgiven. If you do something bad and you ask God for forgiveness, be sure to look into your life first. Are you worth forgiving? Will God forgive you? Have you forgiven those who offended you? I know it is always hard to forgive someone. People have done bad things to you that resulted in pains, emotional pains. You have to let go. You have to leave them for God to judge. You can't be a better judge than God. Leave them for God to deal with. When Stephen was being stoned to death, he could have asked God to kill them. He could have said he would not forgive them even in death, but he prayed for them instead. Acts 7 verse 60, And he kneeled and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Number two, it becomes a burden to you. Have you been in that position before, where someone offended you and you don't want to forgive that person? It becomes a burden to you. You try to avoid that person. You don't want to get involved with the person. The person is always on your mind and you are being reminded constantly that the person has offended you. This brings hatred for the person who has offended. All these things are stress, they are a burden to you, you feel heavy. Why imprison someone with your heart? If you do this, you will always check on them in that prison, and that is a burden. The day you let them go, the day you forgive, you feel a great relief. You will see that you are not trying to avoid anyone, you are in a good place with people. You become free. Don't let someone carry unnecessary burdens into your life. When you refuse to forgive someone, you constantly think about what they have done to you, you put yourself in a victim mentality. This is tiring, debilitating and will always bring you down. If you refuse to forgive someone who offended you, you have automatically brought yourself below that person and they are above you because you have weighed yourself down with the burden of the unforgiving spirit. 